Hello, today we are going to be uh, talking about my uh, project tin pan. Um, I decided that these are 10 items I'm going to focus on and um, just try to use up, um, just really focus on attempting to use these up. Because I use predominantly natural makeup, I have a hard time using things up by the time they expire. Some things um, have really quick um, expiration dates um, depending on the brand. Um, most RMS products expire after about a year and I use a lot of RMS Beauty. Um, these Ilia products also I think mostly expire after a year. 100% um, of your products only have six months. So um, there's just some things that I am trying to utilize and um, not that I'm not going to use other things but just kind of focus on using these things up. Um, so we're just going to talk about those. So I'm going to start with my kind of tie here. So I had this lipstick. This is uh, an RMS Mini in the shade Brain Teaser, and I love it. And this is actually the second one that I finished up. And this is sort of my cheat because I basically finished it yesterday. <laughs> um, so this is the color, and I've also I've already bought this in the full size because I love it that much. So this is what it looks like. This is a shade Brain Teaser. And here's what it looks like on my hand. So I really love this shade a whole lot. That's actually the second mini I've been through. Um, so I'm kind of tying this. I'm counting this and this mascara as one item. <laughs> um, because I feel like a mascara kind of almost doesn't count because there's no mascara that I'm going to take a long time using. Like most mascaras start irritating my eyes after maybe four to six weeks. Um, they say you can have three months with mascara. I hope to get three months out of this mascara. So this is uh, the Javanchet, um Black Satin Noir Couture Mascara. Um, obviously, Javanchet is not a clean beauty brand. Um, this was a gift from my mom. She got me... Uh, the Javanchet Black Magic Lipstick for Christmas, and it came with this mascara, and it's a mini mascara, and it's awesome. I actually really love it. Um, I This is the first time I've used a non-natural mascara in years, but I haven't had any irritation from it, um, so I've been wearing it every day, and it actually does make my lashes look amazing. I had to pause so I could show you this wand. So I am actually very impressed with this mascara having a hard time focusing that wand um, so you can kind of see so this weird wand um, actually makes it a little bit easier to apply and even though it's a mini I still have really good control and I feel like I'm getting really nice length and definition so um, probably not something that I would buy again just because I tend to only buy natural products and I'm sure that Javanchet is not in my budget <laughs> I am definitely more of a budget person um, so I'm sort of counting these two items as one, and then have none more. <laughs> um, so in a similar vein to the lipstick, that was not very relaxing. This is the Temptation. Um, this is also a mini. This one is from RMS. It came out um, with the Christmas. There was a set of five minis, and I just ended up with several of these because there was like another RMS promotion. So I decided that I've already I've already used up a couple. Um, I used two of the brain teasers, and I used up um, Nightfall, which is just like the greatest. <laughs> I love both of those colors so much. Um, but I think I have three of Temptation, so I think it's time to use one up. And it's not that I don't like this color, I just, I have three of them. <laughs> and I don't love them as much as some of my other lipsticks, but it is actually a really pretty color. And I love these lipsticks in general, because they're just so saturated. So um, on the left is Brain Teaser, and on the right is Temptation. So you can see it's a really pretty pink. Um, I just like Brain Teaser better. It's just like the perfect, like the perfect nude lip color. So I'm going to go ahead and um, try to use this one up as well. So this next one is a lip balm. This came in um, the Honey Bee Gardens box from two winters ago. And it's from a brand called Tangerine Betty, which I thought was kind of cool that they featured other brands in their brand box, the Honey Bee Gardens Buzz Box. Um, so this is called Tangerine Betty uh, Pin Ups. And it's basically just a tinted lip balm. Here's the ingredients. Um, it is really nice. It is a little bit, let's see, 
The uh, shade is called Christy. Um, what I would say about this is it's a little bit soft. It smells really good though. It smells like fruit punch and it kind of tastes like fruit punch, which is awesome. Um, but it's a little bit soft and melty. Um, so I have come kind of close to using this up. Like it's hard to see from here, but I feel like the tube ends around here. So I feel like I'm gonna try to use this one up. And you can see in my hand here, it's this color right here. So that is Christy. And it's just kind of a nice tinted balm. Um, and it smells really good and it tastes kind of good. And it's just nice. Um, and I just feel like it's something that I could focus on using up um, relatively quickly. So this is another one. This is the Ilia Summer Essential Face Palette with the colors All of Me, Dreamer, Cosmic Dancer, and Summertime. And you will see that this does last one year and I've had it a little longer than that. So it is really time to use this up. Um, and as you can see, I actually did a video on this a while ago. But as you can see, um, I'm very, very close to doing that. So um, I've managed to use up three of the four colors and I'm just focusing on the last one. Of course, it's the bronze color that's gonna take me a little bit longer. So I think that one's summertime, I believe. Um, assuming that these are named in the way that I would think. <laughs> um, so as soon as I finish up summertime, then that will be finished. And then um, once I finish that one, I would also like to use up the Winter Essential Face Palette, um, just because again of the time frame. Um, I really like these a lot. This is uh, Sway, Ladybird, Polka Dots and Moonbeams, and Atlas. And I did do a previous video um, showing all these colors with swatches of them, so definitely check that out if you're interested. Um, I do really like these colors and I like the formula. Both uh, the highlighters in both palettes are a little bit like hard to work with, like they just get kind of um, like hard and um, like you need to warm them up kind of so you sort of have to dig in to get the color out but um, the other three colors in each palette are like really soft and creamy and nice to work with so I like both of these palettes quite a bit but I think um, I would just really like to use this one up as much as I've used up the summer palette because um, they were not I mean they're not like horrifically expensive I think they were each 42 so they're not horrible but like it would be horrible if I threw it out you know what I mean so I really want to get my money's worth out of them and use them up um, and I do have a habit of overbuying, which is part of why I want to do this, honestly. Um, so something to note if you are interested in 100% pure products is that so far all the products they've had from them say that they have a six month shelf life. So this is the Fruit Pigmented Eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla Sugar, which I love. But you will notice... <laughs> It is kind of hard to use up an eyeshadow in six months, especially if you were a person who, like me, has many, many, many eyeshadows. So this is what this color looks like, and I really like it. This has been my kind of go-to highlight pretty much. I'm going to do one more swipe. It's pretty sheer, but that's, I mean, I wanted it to be a highlight color, so it's kind of hard to see there, but it's just a really nice... Like this is what I use as my brown bo uh, brow bone color. Um, pretty much like I've been consistently using this all the time. So I feel like it's one that I could theoretically use up, but also it's very hard <laughs> to use up an eyeshadow. And I can't tell you a time that I have done it in the recent past. So I would like to make an effort to finish this one up, but it's probably not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna try, we'll see how it goes. So that is the Vanilla Sugar Fruit Pinted Eyeshadow from 100% Pure. So I would definitely say um, this is a wonderful eyeshadow and I recommend the 100% Pure eyeshadows. But if you are going to invest in them, know that they do expire after six months. So I would not want a lot of them at once. And I would definitely suggest like getting a few and just using them and not like not getting them if you have um, like a ton of eyeshadow because these are not necessarily going to last. So in a similar vein, I've had this RMS Beauty Trio for almost, I think I've had this around a year. I'm trying to remember when it came out. It was definitely a promotion product and I feel like I've had it around a year. Um, it features three shades, Love Letter, Heartbreaker, and Secret Fling. And as you can see, it also uh, expires after a year and I've probably had it about that long. And it's hard to tell, but as much as I've used it, I also really haven't made a dent in it. Okay, so the three shades are Love Letter, Heartbreaker, and Secret Fling. So here they are. Love Letter, Heartbreaker, and Secret Fling. 
and I'm really impressed with these. These were the first of the RMS powder shadows that I had, and I'm like kind of amazed with their pigmentation. Um, I just think they're super, super pretty. But um, yeah, it's just hard to use up eyeshadow, <laughs> which is why I want to try. So um, as you can see, I still have quite a bit left, so we are going to see if I can make a dent in this before it is time to say goodbye to it. So I am going to really make an effort to try. So I had to really build this color up for you to see it, but this is what it looks like. This is the RMS Beauty Amethyst Rose Luminizer. Again, a 12 month product. Um, pretty much, I think almost all their stuff is. There's a few things that are nine months. Um, but this is really, really beautiful. It is, however, very, very sheer and subtle. So I really built it up on my hand here for you to see it. And here it is next to that vanilla sugar. And then this is the amethyst rose. So I love amethyst rose. It is so, so pretty. Um, but if you are used to like say magic luminizer or something like that, like this is very, very sheer in comparison. This is a much more subtle glow, but I really love it. I think it's super pretty and I would feel much, much better if I were to use this up because, um, I didn't pay for this directly. It was a promotion when I got it, um, that you could get this for free when you bought something else. I believe it was last Valentine's day. Um, and so now we're coming up on this Valentine's day. So it is time. Um, like I really probably need to part with this soon, but I'm just going to try really hard to use it up. Um, I did end up, I had the gold luminizer as well from, um, a Christmas product from before. And I did end up not finishing that one up. It was a lot more pigmented and I did let that one go and I probably had used about this much. Um, so I got a lot of use out of both of them, honestly, um, but I would really like to finish this one up. I would just feel like really good about that. So this is the 100% pure fruit pigmented pot rouge in the shade blush. And again, I looked this one up and it has a six month shelf life. So this is what it looks like. Um, it is a cream product, but it's like a really matte cream product, which is kind of cool. Um, I just love working with cream products in general, but it is kind of worth noting that they don't always have like particularly long expiration. So they're just like, you have to buy them and use them up. And like, this doesn't look like a very big pot. And like next to, here's my RMS highlighter. Like you can see it's a lot smaller. Let's see size wise. This one is 0.17 ounces, and this one is 0.12 ounces. So it's not as huge of a difference as I thought, but as you can see, this is like a really concentrated product. Here it is on my hand, and the shade is called Blush. You can see like it kind of dries down to this like satiny matte finish. Whereas like if you look at my other products, they're like all pretty, you know, like a wet and glisteny looking. Um, this one's a lot more matte. So I really like this blush. Um, I actually kind of got it accidentally. I um, ordered another one of these um, a while back on Amazon. I got this one on Amazon. And I got um, like a white glitter. It looked like a white glitter. And again, I thought it was like going to be a highlight color. And what I actually got sent was this pink blush that was like not the same thing at all. Um, but the cool thing was they let me keep it. So... Um, but again, like I probably wouldn't have bought this just because of the six month expiration date and I have a lot of other blushes, especially other cream blushes and like the likelihood that I'm going to be able to use this up in that amount of time is like, mm, okay, but this is normally, um, I think this is like a $30 product. So, um, another reason I probably wouldn't have bought it like outright for $30, but I do really like it and I really want to use it up because I have it. So, um, I will say this is not a color I wouldn't normally purchase, um, just because I have a lot of pink in my face. So I don't usually gravitate to like super pink blushes. Although I feel like I have a lot of them because they tend to be like the thing that people put in palettes and sets. Um, I'm just like dropping my phone all over the place. Don't mind me. So depending on who you are, you may or may not consider this last item a makeup item. I'm considering it a makeup item because I'm trying to get really like in the habit of like putting this on first and then like maybe I put foundation on or concealer. I never do both, but like one or the other. Like I feel like it's a lot of steps to have to put like sun sunscreen and then foundation and concealer or sunscreen and concealer and foundation. Like that's a lot of steps. I do one or the other, but I want to make sure that I get in the habit of doing this and I've been kind of bad about that. So 
one of the reasons I wanted to put this in here was like to remember to use my sunscreen. Um, as you can see, let's see, we do have a date here. So I've still got some time on this one. It is towards the bottom and I've already repurchased this brand because I really like it. So this is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Antioxidant Rich Botanical Sunscreen Tinted for Your Face um, with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Um, I do want to use this in conjunction with a uh, powder sunscreen, which I have not yet gotten, but I did put one on my Amazon um, subscribe and saves for next month. So I'm going to try out uh, the Mineral Fusion powder sunscreen. Um, it just seemed like the best, like there are a few different ones. There's not very many on the market that I found that are in like the cool, um, like kind of like the container with the blush brush. So I just want to try one of those. So you can see this has um, active ingredients, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So um, it's a pretty good sunscreen and I'm pretty impressed. My dog is really irate and it's not very relaxing. Um, but I'm pretty impressed with this because the majority of sunscreens, like it's really hard for me to find a face sunscreen that doesn't like just hurt my face. Like most, most sunscreens, even like, you know, like when I was younger and would buy like Neutrogena and stuff like that. Oh, it's for sensitive skin. No, it's not. Um, but this stuff, uh, has not, I've not had any problems with it. Um, I never react to this and it's pretty inexpensive. So I got this on Amazon. Are you getting like a theme here? I feel like I get everything from Amazon. Not everything, but a lot of things. Um, but yeah, so I liked this one enough that I've already repurchased it and I'm going to try to make a concerted effort to keep using it. And I, this one's like down to here. Um, so time to use it every day and then I'll use the other one. So yeah, thank you for watching my Project 10 Pan video and I'll let you know how it goes.